morning, friends and family. As the title suggests, this is our first clutch of the season. First? <laughs> last clutch of the season. This is our last clutch of the season. Got it sitting right here in a box for you folks right there, right now. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to go over that clutch in great teal detail. Detail for you guys. Detail. I'm going to get you guys locked off on the tripod here, and then we're going to... I'm gonna blast off into the stratosphere. Oh, it's a little toastier in here and I thought it was gonna be. Let me go grab mom and dad first. So this is the male that sired the clutch. This is Ricky, the pastel Enchi clown. And he's actually sired a lot of clutches here at Triple B. He's a freaking stud, man. This guy locks up with whatever. If I put him with a garden hose, people say that. He would, he would lock it. And here's mama. This is Dot, the bamboo female. Dot is actually the very first YouTube video I ever did on Triple B TV. GoPro on my head, unboxing Dot. She's from uh, Mike Wilbanks, and there she is. She's deep in the shed. Ooh, and she's running fast. All right, so I'm gonna bust out these snakes. But first, I've put a poll up on YouTube this weekend asking who would want to see the music video that I wrote first and who would want to see the clutch first. And we did get more people voting to see the clutch first and then the music video after. However, the one thing I didn't disclose, there's there's three things, there's three howevers. A, I didn't mention on that poll that I actually wrote the song about this clutch hatching. It's literally a song, the song is called Last Clutch of the Season. B, I wrote, recorded, filmed the video as the first egg was pipping, second egg was pipping, and before any of the snakes even came out of the egg, I had everything recorded and done. So it would make more sense chronologically to put it first. C, if everybody really wants to see me explain the clutch, then you get to watch the video. And D, the, it's only a minute and a half long, so. It's the last clutch of the season. The temperatures are freezing. It's the last clutch of the season. We've still got snakes that are breeding When I popped open my mini fridge today I saw a baby snake had come out to play It had a light little head that was pink and gray The next snake came out and it looked the same I said, yeah, we're two for two on bamboo Feels good when the eyes got smile on you This is my story and yes, it's true now there's really only one thing left to do Sit down and write this song for you And I hope that the rest of the clutch is bamboo too I'm kind of proud of the fact that I wrote that song and recorded it all so quickly. Just slapped it together. It heard a little melody in my head. Let's do it. But without further ado, here is the clutch. And they didn't all turn out bamboo, but we did get pretty good odds, as you can see. Well, actually, we got exact odds. Half of the clutch is bamboo, which is by odds what it would be. This was the largest clutch we've hatched yet, and this was a beautiful clutch. All the eggs were super pearly white. There were no slugs, 10 good eggs. Mama did a great job. And now we've got this beautiful clutch to share with you guys. So uh, I'm going to pull them out like a couple at a time, one at a time, two at a time, three at a time. And then at the end, we'll get a whole pile back here again for you guys to compare and contrast just like we're doing right now. Isn't that beautiful though? I, I love bamboo, man. Bamboo is a fantastic gene. It's a very powerful gene, like extremely powerful. Like check out this picture right here of Hillary and Leia. My, my wife, Hillary, my daughter, Leia. That's like an example of what bamboo does. Like Hillary's dot the mom and Leia's a bamboo. I'm the pastel and she clown father and like you can tell if you look real closely at like the nose or if you just like look at the face but if you look at the whole thing it's obviously bamboo hillary luckily it is a very beautiful gene it's in the blue-eyed leukistic complex for those of you guys that don't know same complex as lesser mojave and and animals like that so you can make leukistic animals with bamboo and let's start looking let's start looking and we'll start with the first two here which are the normals and you can tell they're normals because they look like wild type normal ball python if you've ever seen them before well it looks a lot like this uh one male one female the nice thing is they are both 100 percent het clown really 
are you just messing with me? God, thing always starts beeping at me. One way I can tell they're normals is this kind of general uh, goldish color that, that goes throughout them. They've got uh, regular sized alien heads, like evenly kind of spaced and and it's, it's, it's a wild type. It's a wild type. That's that's what it is. If, if you luck out and there's something in here that I'm not seeing, well, hey, you lucked out. And now the next two here are Anchi. Of course, everything is 100% Het Clown in this clutch. That's one of the big reasons we did the pairing, so we can get some Het Clowns. And I'm really hoping for a male bamboo Het Clown so I can put them with some females that'll be ready for him next year and get some bamboo clowns, bamboo clown combos. So a couple of telltale signs for the Anchi is you can see, see on that head stamp there, it's kind of got this uh, butterfly look to it. There's like a kind of X marks the spot on the head stamp there. You can see it right there. And it looks like a little little butterfly or a clover leaf. And that's one telltale sign, one telltale sign of Enchi. Also, you get the fatter eye stripes towards the back of the head, the way these eye stripes get a little bit fatter back there. That's another kind of sign for Enchi. And then a lot of this banding, especially back towards the the back end of the animal here, right across the top. You see all that kind of banding going over the top. And a general lack of alien heads and maybe, you know, one little one little circle there popping through every now and then, a little keyhole, a little nice tiny one, a little tiny one right there. Those are kind of the telltale signs how I, how I know that's an Enchi, just so you guys know. And maybe I can compare it to the normal just so you can get a better look. So here's one of the wild types or normals, and you can kind of see there's just a lot more alien head action going on, a lot more keyholes in the in the pattern happening. Doesn't have that banding towards the back. The The pattern doesn't really cross over the top all that much towards the back end. And that's just a, kind of the way you can tell the difference between Enchi and Normal. It is fairly subtle. And if you're not, you know, practice like, I'm still learning a lot. So don't be discouraged if you don't see it right away. Now this is the only pastel Enchi that we got in the clutch. And you can see the pastel coming through with the, uh, the yellows. And then that head stamp is just where the Enchi gives itself away again with that kind of X color marks the spot thing and the way that the eye stripes are wrapping around more the back of the head there and then then also the banding that's happening down towards the back half of the body. That's just all kind of shouting Enchi to me. So we got a nice pastel Enchi and it's a female. Fantastic. All right, big pile of bamboos. This is, this is where it gets a little interesting and this is also where to be completely honest, I'm gonna have to wait until these guys shed out, but I really want to show you before they do, just to share the clutch. It's exciting, last clutch of the season, and we got great odds, fantastic odds. One of these, I'm almost certain, is the full combo, the pastel Enchi bamboo head clown, and that's this dude right here, um, or girl, I should say. And you can just kind of tell it's real clean at the back end of the snake, whereas the, the rest of them are very busy, and this one is, is not as much busy. It's got a lot of this uh, clean stuff, there's this yellow bleeding through the back. Um, I hatched the pastel Enchi bamboo a couple years ago and it looked very much like this. Now the one thing where I'm, I'm not certain yet but it, it doesn't look like we got any normal bamboos. The rest of these look like this one this one might be trying to be an Enchi. No, no, I don't see. So I'm not seeing Enchi in any of the rest of them but I believe the rest of them are pastel bamboos. Please leave a comment down below if you've got more experience. This is only my second bamboo clutch ever, and, and bamboo being such a dominant gene, like I was saying, it's it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Like that's like I said, I want to wait till I have a shed or two, and then I'll really start to see. But you can see this kind of sorry about your head there, bud. You can kind of see this yellow tinge coming through the back of a lot of these animals, and then they're really busy on the side, especially like take a look at this guy right here, like how the how it's just real busy on the sides. There's just uh, an enormous amount of alien heads per capita. That's that pastel thing happening there too. And as much as I kind of like to talk, like I like it seems like maybe I know what I'm talking about. I'm still doing a lot of learning, guys. Like I, I'm not, I'm no expert in morph identification. I, I say that again and again because it's true. I'm I'm really not a master at this. I'm kind of still doing a lot of learning myself. But I I really do see the yellow in this guy. But again, with all these bamboos, it's really gonna be waiting to see after they shed out to really get the full identification. But I did just want to at least share with you guys the odds that we got and uh, just show the beautiful clutch, share the song, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> and just look at that clutch of bamboos though, man. I mean, it, they really contrast well nicely against this uh, bourbon colored table. It's just fantastic. I, lo I love hatching out baby snakes. It is freaking phenomenal, man. It, I Look at this, look at this. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's get the whole pile out. How many? Uh, there's ten. 
and then snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you all know, those snakes, Do you know which ones are he's and she's? Uh, I haven't checked all of them yet, but so no, not all of them. That is the white one. Do you choose. think I could hold one? Oh yeah, definitely. This one's already curled up in the ball. <laughs> Were they born yesterday? Uh, they <laughs> hatched out today. They hatched out? They hatched out, T. All of them? All of them. Whoa. Look how tiny those little scales are. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you on uh, mm -hmm. Wednesday for Cusco Uncut. <laughs> All right. It's about to get real fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got this little guy. You got this little guy.